see everybody out, especially in these crazy times. I know we've all noticed everything is political now. And I feel like there are a lot of things that need to be fixed, but I feel like there's a few issues that we're just kind of sneaking in, you know? I saw this girl the other day with a tote bag that said, buy weed from women. <laughs> I was like, is it the 70s? Like, it's 2019, buy Oxy from trans youth. Okay. <laughs> Be an ally, you know? <laughs> It's a weird time though. I feel like I'm in a weird phase. I don't know if you guys can tell by looking at me, but I am currently transitioning from a white chick to a white lady. <laughs> I told myself it would never happen, and then now I've just been waking up in the middle of the night screaming, school districts! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm not a full white lady yet though, because I don't have kids, but I am at the age where people are starting to pressure me to have children. And it makes me feel very stressed out because it makes me feel like I'm behind in my life milestones. And like Steve said, I am from Orange County, the OC, home of the housewife. So I always assumed that by this age, I would be married with stepchildren, you know? <laughs> stepchildren my own age, was that clear? Maybe even older, a girl can dream, we'll find out. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard. I don't know how anybody like has kids these days because it's harder than ever. Like you need a lot of money, right? Like there's no way that by the time my kid is 18 that I'm going to have enough money saved for their college bribes. <laughs> my stepsons will go to USC. I'm just saying. <laughs> they probably already have. I can't wait to meet them. Okay. <laughs> very stressful. I feel like I'm afraid if I don't like, if I don't do what I want to before I have kids, then I'm going to be a weird like stage mother or something, you know? And like, it's very stressful because you can't do everything you want to do and have kids. They always tell women that. You can't have like a happy like husband and a kid and a full career. And I didn't realize like how much time kids take out of your life until I found out that the BTK serial killer took a nearly decade long break from killing because he had kids. <laughs> he told the FBI he was too tired raising children to follow his passion. <laughs> what chance will I have, you know? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna be like a weird LA mom. Like, I feel like we've all met a woman like that. Like, I'm gonna do mom stuff, but there will always be a little shade in there. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm gonna have like cute Easter egg hunts, but then all of the eggs will be filled with my headshots. <laughs> Throw in there. I don't know. It'll be a long time before I have kids. I'm afraid too, it's like the longer you wait, you know, the higher your risk of like infertility. And I feel like I'm gonna be a much older mom. Like, I feel like when it comes to my fertility, it's gonna be a real Indiana Jones situation <laughs> where there's just like a wall closing and I'm diving under and grabbing a kid on the spectrum on the way out. Like, oh. I made it all right. <laughs> Sometimes people are offended by that joke and I say don't be because one, I didn't say that that's bad and two, I have an autistic cousin and he loves Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid of like the pain of childbirth and there's a new thing a lot of women know now like there's a lot of mom shaming about if you get like an epidural during your birth right so weird but my best friend she decided to, she had a baby last year she decided to have an all-natural drug-free birth and I didn't know that after a woman has an all-natural drug-free birth it's actually physically impossible for her to stop bragging <laughs> We get it, girl. Relax. <laughs> Not married yet either. I want to give my kids, like, I want, I am a traditional person. I want to give them a strong foundation, and I believe that every child deserves a mother and an alcoholic father. So, we'll have to wait. I feel like I guess I should be married right now. I don't know, there's like a weird thing, we've all seen it, like, people go crazy for weddings, right? They like get engaged and they do crazy shit. <laughs> like, I was on the internet recently and I discovered the most disturbing thing I've ever seen on the internet. It's the type of video, and whatever you're thinking, it's not that, but it is worse, okay? I've been in my apartment watching hours of YouTube videos of brides who sing themselves down the aisle. 
There are 42 pages of search results. I have watched them, I have ranked them, started a blog, podcast, gonna do a mini series. Uh, I'm on a journey with these women, <laughs> oh my God. It is a very divided time in our country, but I truly believe that we could come together as a nation to make this a crime. <laughs> you know, just a minimum sentence of like 10,000 years of silence for these women. <laughs> Now, when I say a bride who sinks herself down the aisle, what race is she? White, yes. <laughs> no. You guys have never seen these videos, okay? So let me break down everything you need to know about them. Number one, they're usually titled something like, Bride Surprises Groom by Singing Down the Aisle. <laughs> when what it should be is woman terrorizes innocent civilians who were forced to bring a gift for this occasion. <laughs> These women are also usually singing an original composition. <laughs> usually a song with a very creative title like, Song for Tyler. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, Jake forever in my heart. <laughs> but it's always a nightmare. Uh, no, I should be nice. These Women are talented, actually. Um, they are so talented that all of the video comments have been disabled. <laughs> Pretty great. Now, in my favorite video of all time, okay, it's shot in a split screen. And what you see in one frame is the groom, the Tyler, up at the altar, just smiling and unaware that this will not be the best day of your life. <laughs> And in the opposite frame, you see the bride, and she walks out beautiful and radiant, holding her bouquet to the head of the aisle. And then in that split screen, you see her reach into her bouquet and slowly raise a microphone out of it. While in the opposite frame, Tyler slowly realizes what's about to happen. Now, mind you, these women are only walking about 20 feet, but they take the full four minutes and 32 seconds to get there, thank God. So she starts her like sloth walk and singing. And you can see poor Tyler is just like paralyzed by the sonar waves that are aggressively hitting him. And as she gets closer to him, you see he just wants to instinctively reach for her mic, rip it out of her hand and end this. Unfortunately, as he goes to reach for the mic, she starts her Mariah Carey hand run. And like a ninja, she catches his hand mid air and bends his fingers back until he has to take a knee. <laughs> and as she hits that final note, you see the light entirely drained from his eyes. <laughs> and that's the moment I come. <laughs> Thank you so much. There are also grooms that do this. Um, they're usually black and they're usually amazing. So. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out, out on your own time. <laughs> there is one video too, it is really crazy. It's not a bride or a groom, it's the father of the bride walking her down the aisle while he's singing a song called I Loved Her First. <laughs> I can't imagine like getting married because I cannot imagine that like father of the bride like situation. Because my dad is a person who is uh, racist and believes in aliens. So he spends a lot of time saying, be careful, they're out there. <laughs> All right. when, I <laughs> when I turned 18, my dad told me he was so happy I was an adult because he could finally tell me the truth about our galaxy. <laughs> and in that moment, I realized the only thing I will inherit from this man is VHS tapes. <laughs> Just a border wall of VHS tapes. <laughs> he then told me with a straight face, Katie, did you also know that white people carry alien DNA? And I was like, I don't know how to tell you, Dad. That's the blackest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> you guys have been great. I'm Katie French. Thank you so much.